What's up guys, that's the ASUS BQ16 Pro and I'm going to do a Wi-Fi 7 speed test on it while it's in wireless backhaul configuration. In fact, let's kick off an internet speed test and then we'll do a local speed test. Because the, sometimes the internet speed tests are busy at times and depending on what time you're running in, which server you're connecting to. But the point of the video is not like the 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 small differences in speeds, well, sometimes it's a little bit bigger, but really how fast the speeds are when I connect my Mac Mini, Mac Mini via Ethernet to that ASUS, even though the ASUS is in wireless backhaul configuration. That's what I want to really demo here. So we got 1.4 down, we're getting about 900 up. Uh, again, depending on the time of your day, we can actually get this all the way up to like 1.5 or so like that. Uh, but basically, my Mac Mini is a Wi-Fi 6E device. If it was Wi-Fi 7, it can actually go faster. But even though, so let's do this. Let's do a local speed test instead of trying to connect to another server. So the test that's running right now, which I'll, I'll rerun a different one uh, after I connect it via Ethernet, is this computer is wirelessly talking to that one, to the ASUS. The ASUS is wirelessly talking to the other ASUS, and then the other ASUS is, makes its way to my other computer. Now, my other computer does support, has a 10 gig card in there, so it can, in theory, support up to 10 gig speeds. So if everything was wired, we can actually get full 10 gigs because my Mac Mini also supports 10 gig speeds. So we got, you know, 1.6 down, 1.1 up. So not too bad. So now, again, if this was Wi-Fi 7, it can actually go faster. But now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect my ethernet upside down. Okay, so now I connected my ethernet port. I will turn off Wi-Fi right here. Okay, so Wi-Fi is off now, so it's gonna default to, it's going to default to ethernet. Well, I'll give it a second. In fact, let me just close this and let me just open it again, just to give it a second. Okay, connected to a different server. I don't know how fast this server is, but my internet speeds are five gigs per second upload and download. And over wireless backhaul, I'm actually getting five gig speeds. And this is, this is the message I try to get across. Even if you don't have Wi-Fi 7 devices, if you're running it in wireless backhaul, it can actually get crazy fast speeds. Now the upload from this server wasn't that great. So we're getting you know, under gig speeds essentially. So let me see if I could change the server and connect it to, let's see if I could connect it to Nitel's not too bad from what I've seen. GSL Networks is okay too from what I've seen. Some of the servers I connected because I do a lot of speed tests are a little bit better. So Nitel, again, we're getting five gigs. This is, this, is, this is the magic that I talk about. How crazy it is that on an internet speed test I'm getting here, and okay, so Nitel, we're getting way better upload speeds. Not quite to five gigs, but we basically got five gigs down, so full download speeds and about three gigs up. Now we'll do a local speed test, which means it's uncapped because this Mac Mini has a 10 gig card and my other computer has a 10 gig card. And the only wireless transmission that's happening right now is this Mac Mini to the ASUS. Sorry, this is wired, but this ASUS to the other ASUS because it's in wireless backhaul. Look at these speeds. The, this is, this is, why Wi-Fi 7 is amazing. You don't necessarily need to have Wi-Fi 7 devices to take advantage of a Wi-Fi 7 device. This thing is an absolute beast of a mesh system. Basically got seven and a half down, 7.5 gigabits per second down, essentially, uh, less than that technically, but essentially almost there and about 6.2 up. Uh, because it's technically uncapped. Again, because this guy supports 10 gigs and my other computer supports 10 gigs. So the only Wi-Fi transmission was this ASUS to the other ASUS, which is about 25 feet away. I should mention that as well. But yeah, if you guys found this video helpful, smash that subscribe button. I have a full review of this coming up. Catch you guys in the next one.